Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have got the second episode of the Road to Hullet, which is my Road to Glory series. If you did miss the first one, make sure you check it out and you'll see how we got to about 5,000 coins. Now, I'm quite late on this upload. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that have done a lot of episodes already on the Road to Glory, Road to Glory but uh, I have been you know, trying to get my main account up, uh, try and make some coins and that so I can do good squad builders in the near future, very expensive ones, uh, play reviews and stuff like that. So this account hasn't been my priority really but I'm going to try and uh, play on it more as uh, I do enjoy starting from the bottom and having no coins really. So we're just going through doing all these sort of daily objectives which is actually a good way to get coins. I know some people still won't have the game at this point so when you do get it make sure you do complete these these uh, objectives because you know you might only get 300-400 coins a time but I did see someone get I think it was a 100k pack from what was it I think it might have been buying a player for a thousand coins something so imagine that getting a 100k pack at the start of the game for doing something as easy as that it's ridiculous but I've not had any sort of luck like that yet. I've just had um, like the silver packs, the bronze packs, the coins, the fitness cards, stuff like that. So not uh, not great things. But you know, we're just uh, listing up some things here, speeding up these packs because no one really wants to see loan packs, do they? Because you don't really get too much in them. I think this pack's decent actually. We get a Spanish centre mid, and it is Thiago. So that was an 83 plus loan pack. But we did, did get an 88 rated uh, Thiago who will be, go nicely in our Bundesliga team. So, because we did pick German at the start, so we did get a few Bundesliga players. So, we did build a cheap Bundesliga team in the last episode. Um, looking through, we just sold some random silvers and um, Matt Ritchie there. So, we got about 1,000 coins of that, I think it was. And uh, we're really listening up this bronze guy. So, we're sitting on about 5.7k at the moment. Uh, we did play our first, I think that, no, that was seasons, I thought it was squad battles, but no, it was our seasons game. Won that just to get the daily objective. Uh, I think that was, how much was that? I'll have a look. Claim reward, we got we got a silver contract pack, so it wasn't really worth playing, but I think we got about 700 coins or something for the win, which isn't too bad, which puts on about 7,000 coins at the moment. Now, uh, I think we for the first... 10, no not 10, first like 5 minutes of this video or something we are doing these objectives and stuff so it's not the best sort of thing, uh, it'd be good when we can get a decent amount of coins up and we can start building our team up properly and playing some more games because that is what I like to do on this, doing these objectives isn't that fun really but you know you've got to do what you've got to do sometimes. Uh, we do go and buy two players, we get uh, Jonathan Brooks and, and Bolo because in that team I had that uh, the two untradeable players we've got at the beginning of the game were absolutely awful I think um, I think we had Nock and Peterson or something they were both terrible so we upgraded them with some cheap players and uh, <coughs> we managed to get that which was I think changing your formation or something so contract back from that not too bad and uh, applying a contract to Chandler again just for a daily objective because you never know you might get something decent um, on my main account, I managed to pack uh, an Usman Dembele from a uh, from an objective. You know, I think I got a seven point five k pack packed him. So you never know what you're gonna get. You could get lucky, but most of the time, especially in my case, you don't. But you never know. I think that bronze guy, that um, Argentinian guy, ended up selling for a little bit of coins. So that is not too bad from that pack. And we get rid of the rest. Now, I think mainly in this episode, we're mainly going to be doing some um, some SPCs. Uh, I'm going to go through showing you who I do buy. Um, just so you know you know who I'm, what I'm spending my coins on and what I'm doing. And that one, I had to buy an attacker, so I just bought a random silver guy and discarded him, I think, for 105 coins. So, get that, 350 coins back. So, I made about 250 coins profit off that, which is not the best. And buy a contract as well. I just went and got a got a rare one 200 coins a lot of these rare gold contracts do sell quite um quite quick so we um we have to do that and i think we'll get onto this squad builder sh squad builder showdowns squad builder challenges soon which is where we do manage to make a bulk of our money in this episode so we're up to now nearly 7000 coins so we've made 2k which isn't too bad i think this guy does end up selling for about 850 and we'd start getting into the spcs now 
Now obviously the first few are very very easy to do. Uh, we have to just you know put a, put a crappy goalkeeper in, and then we move on to the next one where you need I think two centre backs and a CDM. So we quick, uh, quickly complete that. You don't need any chemistry. I'm, I'm sure everyone's done this by now anyway. But we have to do it I think to to get a little bit of coins and just to you know get on get all the others unlocked and stuff like that. So we do the other one as well where you need. Uh, left mid, right mid, cam and striker so we get that all done, we get our rewards and we do use this kit because it does look pretty nice, I think Daily Render made that, so very very nice kit and we open up these bronze packs now, you know you're not really going to expect to get much from these bronze packs but you know, uh, you can just store everything in your club and um, hope that some, somewhere down the line these players become a little bit valuable um, I think some of these packs were untradeable as well which is a bit annoying but uh, I'm just speeding up now because they're rubbish packs anyway. No one really cares what you get in bronze packs. But just showing what I get so that you don't think I'm cheating. Um, we get that strike, not strike, a centre forward from Genk, who we probably won't use, but you know, we could put him in an SBC at some point or another. And we're just completing the reserves one now for a bronze pack. We did have to buy that centre mid there, the, uh, the Norwegian, for I think 200 coins. So that was that just to get. A rare, I think you need a rare bronze, and I think you also needed. I need an extra chemistry as well. So, bought him. Uh, we list up this guy for 400 coins because cheapest was about 700, and he's in a bit of a dodgy league, so I wasn't too sure he'd sell for like 600. So, undercut the guy by quite a lot, and I think he may have sold uh, later on in the episode. I'm not entirely sure. But here we're getting onto the decent squad builder challenges. So we did pick up all these league and NOS players for the prices you see there. And we do store them all in our club, and we're getting onto the um, to the quite expensive SPCs that do pay out well. So the puzzler, um, I used a Spanish uh, like goalkeeper, centre mid, and centre back, and uh, left winger. And these are Portuguese left back, a few Portuguese players, and then the Brazilian as well. None of these players really cost me much, to be honest. I think the most expensive was that striker, but he only cost me like. I can't remember what it was, maybe like 800 coins, so uh, this team didn't cost me much at all and a lot of those Spanish guys were first owner as well so I just shoved them in, didn't need them at all, uh, I probably should have kept that Real Madrid guy because he'll be expensive somewhere down the line, uh, that Salas was only 700 coins actually so not bad, we got 4.7k so I think we might have used about 2.5k doing that one which is not too bad at all, we get the pack we do get a board down or a billboard, whatever you call it, and we do manage to get French centre back Kashelny. We managed to get Kashelny already, and that is literally our first gold pack of the of the uh, of the entire account. So we're on four thousand coins now, four thousand seven hundred, and I think he at the time was worth twenty k. And looking now, I think he might be worth a little more than that. So it's a bit unfortunate I did sell him as soon as I did, but I think I did list him up for about twenty k. And we do keep most of these other players. So I think we checked the prices on a couple, but uh, most of them we did just sell. I mean, most of them we did just keep, sorry, because, uh, you know, we're going to need them somewhere down the line. And if not, we can just discard them anyway. So on to the next. Yeah, we're just, we're just selling this Kashani now. I checked his cheapest buy now. It was, tw it was like 20,500, so I shoved him up for 20k. And he literally sold instantly, so it's a bit, uh, it's a bit annoying. But 20k already is not bad. So we're up to 23k now. So we can actually complete all the other SBCs that cost me more money. Um, the ones that are more profitable, the ones that are harder to do. You know, you need uh, loyalty and stuff like that. So we have to do loyalty glitch, I think, two or three times in this episode. But obviously, I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to show you the players without uh, contracts on. But uh, you might see my coins drop a bit because we did have to go out and get some silver contracts, I think. Or unless we had them in the club, I can't remember. But I think we have to buy some contracts to uh, to put the players because obviously most of them you buy with seven and you need ten to do the little glitch. So we did have to bump up their contracts a little bit. I might have to start doing the bronze pack method so I never have to buy any contracts. But I'll have to wait and see. Um, here we have to buy... A Laporte, he was 84 rated and he cost me 4,000 coins, which was a lot of money. But I think we did profit overall. And we also bought another Laporte because I was bidding on him and ended up bidding up to 4.5k. No idea why. So I had to sell him on. Uh, Nazarene or Bonnet, obviously, I kept in the club, but I did have to sell that Laporte. I think I literally might have broke even on him. 
possibly lost about uh, maybe like 30 coins on him or something no, I didn't, didn't do too bad it wasn't it wasn't the worst thing in the world so 4-7 we sold him for and I think from that leave us about 35 coins lost so I don't mind that too much but it was a bit annoying and we just finished off the squad here we've got 11k left so we have spent a good amount of our coins doing this SBC I think over half I think we had 23k when that Kashoni sold we've only got 11 now so we did use a big chunk of our coins to, uh, to complete this one I can't remember what this one was called actually, it might, I think it was called Hybrid Master, which you get the, the 50k pack from. So I thought, you know, you never know what you can get in these packs, you can get anybody, you could you could get a Ronaldo. Imagine getting a Ronaldo at the beginning of a game, it would be ridiculous, but we didn't get a Ronaldo. But I th I'm not sure who we got actually, you'll, you'll have to see in a minute, but I think it was an alright play, I think it ended up making us profit. Uh, I see there some of the players are out of contract so we have done the loyalty glitch with him now everyone's got 10 chem I think this team cost me about 14k so if you want to do this uh, SBC and you've not done it yet copy my team exactly and do the loyalty glitch on every single player and you'll get just the right amount of chemistry like dead on which is uh, which is nice so we do that we get a 50k pack we've got 10,885 coins left who are we going to get? We get a board down, which is nice. We get an inform. So obviously at this point I was hoping for someone amazing. We get a goalkeeper, I think, from Malia. I'm not sure if that is the Malia. Apologies if I've offended anyone. But he is an 80-rated goalkeeper from a league no one really cares about. So we literally just discard him. And we have a few other players in there that aren't worth too much. I think I'm speeding this up now because I think we've got, we've got about three four maybe five players that are worth around two thousand coins in this pack so we'd literally list them up for 2k and if there, if there's five players two thousand coins uh that's obviously 10k the goalkeeper's about 10k and then the other players as well so we might have made about 22k off this pack and considering we already spent 13k it's not the worst in the world actually we're already on 24k so we've already profited and um we're just going on now and doing another SBC. I think, I can't remember what this one's called, but I think it's the one that's in a 4-5-1 bracket 1 formation. Um, I'll have to wait and see what it's called. So we're literally going through buying some Lazio players. I think we bought Mauricio, uh, Wallace, Marchetti and Lucas Lever there. Um, if you're looking to do this SBC as well, definitely follow the way I've done it because... I was looking around at the cheapest way to do it and I found a cheaper way than the cheapest way to do it so this is definitely a very very cheap way to do it. I think it might have cost me about 6,000, 7,000 coins to do it so very very cheap and I think we do profit from the pack we get as well which is nice. So we're picking up a Jake Livermore, we're going for like a West Brom uh, right mid centre mid trio so here's a team, Intermediate it's called. You only get a, actually you get a rare goal pack, which is nice. Uh, I think that's a 25k pack. We open that and we get another flash. We get another board down, another inform. I kind of don't like seeing the informs to be honest, because you know it's not the best. But we get a right wing back. He looks okay, but no one's ever going to use him, are they? So we literally discard him as well. We get a Jose Calion, who I think sold for about 3,200 coins. And I don't think the other two players did sell. Um, we, we're selling the consumables at this point because, like I said before, we're going to start doing the bronze pack method and stuff like that to get more coins. So we don't really, uh, we don't really need to use like squad fitnesses and stuff. So we're up now to thirty-six thousand coins. We only started the episode on five thousand, so it was very nice to see our balance at that much already. And we're just listing up these consumables now because they're worth quite a lot right now because um, because what you call it uh, the weekend league is about to start soon so they were worth quite a bit and we come back I think the next day and we're up to 39k at the moment which again very very nice all literally all the shoe sold 200 coins to the contracts uh, Ben Arthur sold as well we did have that Senegalese player in there because I was expecting Mane's SBC to require Senegalese, which he did, but I was expecting him to go up more than he actually did, so it wasn't really worth keeping on keeping a hold of him. But we did anyway, and we did buy another load of players to put into another SBC, the last one of the ball. Tough. Um, again, we have to get lowly on all these. We did end up using Sebastian Rudy, who was in our 
Uh, he's in our team at the moment, so we do have to replace him. But this is the team we used again. Um, Gertz is surprisingly not very expensive on, expensive on this game, even though he looks all right. And we have to get loyalty on all of them again. Uh, we get 12,000 coins for completing everything, so we're up to 50k now, which is crazy. And I think we have another pack, mega pack, yep. Yeah. And I'm not sure if we get anyone great in this pack. Um, I don't think we do, so if you enjoyed the video and you want to see part three, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and um, I'll see you.